Alrighty, folks, we're back at it. Today we're talking hogs, hoggos, hoggy woggies, whatever you want to call it, specifically queen walk hogs. And honestly, if you haven't learned to queen walk yet, I highly recommend you go do so. It will open you up to new attack strategies and significantly increase your attack strength. So it may be a little odd that I'm doing a hogs video after hybrid since hogs is the fundamentals to hybrid and miners, but hey, what can you do? As I said in the Lalo video, which if you haven't seen yet, pause this video, go watch that one, and then come back. Hogs is essentially the ground counterpart to Lalo. Both are introduced at the whole nine, both target defenses and require cleanup troops behind as you path through the base. And truthfully, both are three stars or bust strategies. You'll either get three stars, one star, or zero stars, and hardly ever two stars. So why would you use a strategy to potentially pull in one star rather than get the secured two with, I don't know, go wipe? Well, number one, three stars win the wars. And two, hog strategies have been and will continue to be by far one of the best attack strategies in the game if you can get the mechanics. In the Lalo video, you may recall me saying that Lalo is the one strategy you should definitely learn. So definitely, if there's any attack you should learn, it's this one. Honestly, I'll probably go as far to say as Lalo is by far the strongest attack strategy in the game if you can nail the mechanics. Of course, all attacks are base dependent and the meta is constantly changing, but in terms of strongest attack strategies, you have to consider reliability and Lalo is one of those tried and true strategies that has been in the game basically from the start. So then why would you use Hogs over Lalo if Lalo is quote unquote stronger? Well, for one, Hogs doesn't have the steep learning curve. Two, it's just as tried and true. And three, end of the day, it's a personal preference to go ground or air. In terms of Hogs versus Miners, versus hybrid i've talked about hogs versus miners and hogs being the stronger troop on paper since on paper hogs are stronger than miners anyway because they have more punch hybrid may be by far the most popular attack strategy right now but in my opinion whenever you can use straight up hogs you go with straight up hogs number one you can bring a few more in mass than you can with miners or hybrid for that matter and two they have a higher dps than miners if i had to give a ranking for these three strategies stacked up against each other it would be the following number one hogs number two hybrid number three miners let's go over your standard composition for hogs at town halls 9 through 11 beginning with town hall 9 four healers 22 hogs one baby dragon for funneling nine wizards for cleanup four wall breakers and cc hogs spells are as follows one rage for the queen walk three heals which is universal one poison for skelly traps and a cc poison which will be used against the enemy cc at town hall 10 five healers 20 hogs one baby dragon 13 wizards four wall breakers and you guessed it CC hogs. Spells are as follows. One rage with the queen walk, three heals, two poisons, one freeze, and a CC freeze. However, if your poison is below level three, get a poison donated and make your freezes. At town hall 11, it's pretty much the same. Add more hogs to your troop comp. Bring a CC rage because you can. But again, if your poison is level three or below, get those donated and make your rages. All right, so here we go. How to queen walk hog. Step one, as with all queen walk strategies, you need to funnel out a section of the base, typically in an L shape or horseshoe for your hogs to path through. During your walk, you need to eliminate the enemy CC, assisted by a poison spell, and the enemy queen. Any additional splash damage you can take out is a plus. At Town Hall 11, your walk must also take out the eagle unless you have a plan to deal with it very early on with your hogs. During your walk, avoid using your queen ability if you have the resources to do so, i.e. rage spells. Step two, deploy your hogs in mass. The deployment is very similar to Lalo where you want to start your hogs adjacent to the queen. The objective is for your queen and hogs to meet up so that by the time the queen gets to the backside, the hogs will also and begin to assist in cleanup. It's always a good idea to hold on to a few hogs for the back end or to direct your mass and keep them central if need be. And step three, of course, is cleanup. Same as Lalo, except with wizards. Okay, so let's break down this Town Hall 11 war attack. And honestly, I got lucky. Number one, there was no CC. And number two, I knew where all the traps were because I've seen this base before on Clash with Quarry's unbeaten series on YouTube. Well unbeaten no more so my composition was as follows two archers because why not two balloons 12 wizards and the rest is pretty standard oh and no bombers spells are as follows three heals one poison since there's no cc this is for any potential skelly traps quad quake this is pretty uncommon and i don't advise this if you're new to queen walking and my cc rage let me start by saying this beware of troll teslas this was a cleanup hit so it just confirmed the troll teslas and the fact that this idiot decided not to move any of the traps <laughs> Let me also say this, this was a very elaborate plan. I don't expect this level of execution and planning from any of you guys, unless you're just as gung-ho as me. The purpose of showing this replay is to understand the fundamentals of the attack strategy. So, for the sake of the video and understanding the attack, I'm going to skip the tiny little details during this section, but point them out once we roll the save. With that said, here's my plan. Phase 1, Queen Walk. Walk the Queen towards the Grand Warden Altar and charge the core. Before all of that, Baby Dragon on this Elixir Collector to move towards 9 o'clock, establishing this side of the funnel. One wizard to work on this Elixir Collector up, up north, as my king, apologies for this being cut off here, takes out the Troll Tesla up top and then run 12 to 3 to establish the other side of the funnel. His job, get the cannon, and hopefully all the way down to that mortar. Finally, the Queen will come down offset to the barracks and push towards the Grand Warden Altar. Next part of the step, what quick all of this for my Queen to walk into the base here, gaining access to the Eagle CC if they're 
for defending troops, and the enemy queen along with the backside of this base. From here, we'll let her coast and then rage as she approaches the queen and eagle. After all that, we're done with phase one. Remember, this should all take place within the first minute of the attack. If you're approaching a minute and 45 left in the raid and you haven't started your hogs yet, you're risking a time fail. All right, so on to phase two, hogs. Look at this delicious path that we have for the hogs. This is how we're gonna travel. We're gonna go nine to three through the base with the hogs in mass with the Grand Warden set to ground. Heal spells will be dropped as we go through splash damage. But first, three hogs will be used to take out the troll Tesla in the nine o'clock corner. Once the hogs path all the way through to the back end, they'll take out this Tesla at three, and just like that, all the troll Teslas are dealt with. There is one ground galley in this base, and it's right by the queen, so poison will come down on it, and warden ability will be used through this queen section in case the hogs draw aggro. Just a few notes before we move on. There is the argument for starting at three, but the queen will path that way anyway, and she's in no real danger in doing so. So there's no need to take her targets. Plus, moving nine to three moves with the queen and not against her, since she's already started in that direction from the beginning. Although the hog pathing goes through the enemy queen, I'm expecting my queen to step up and aggro the queen. Otherwise, I would have hybrided the space. The timing of the hogs has to be perfect because again, hogs only target defense. Too early and there's no aggro on the enemy queen and she'll pick off my hogs one by one. Too late and there's no back end support for my queen. Okay, so on to phase three, cleanup. This is pretty straightforward. Sprinkle wizards behind to take out the structures that the hogs leave behind. One to two wizards every so often. Always hold one to two for the end just in case they're needed elsewhere or to distract the defense. Just like Lalo, if executed correctly, this attack nine times out of 10 should completely overwhelm the base. I had Cody on voice with me spotting this attack and honestly, I wish I had the live audio with this attack like I did the first because we were both extremely shocked at how well this attack went and our reaction really speaks to the true strength of this attack. But instead, we'll just have to settle with my replay analysis. Okay, so let's roll the tape. Okay, so the big dragon comes down at the elixir collector at 10 o'clock. Wizard comes down to the one up top. King comes down on the one o'clock side of the Tesla, just to get rid of that. Queen comes down, like I said. Fly all the way down to the town hall. I'm gonna drop the two archers there because they're out of range of that Tesla that's down there. Um, Queen is drawing aggro right about now, so it's safe to drop the healers. And we'll just let it coast. Quadquake is gonna come down. I actually missed the quadquake placement. Um, I wanted to get that in your wall as well to drive the queen even further into the base, but um, this will do, it'll be okay. So King actually got a ton of value there. I wasn't expecting him to get all that value, um, but I'm glad he did. It just makes the backside even easier for the Queen and Hogs as they path through. Okay, so the three Hogs come down for that Troll Tesla. At 9 o'clock, Queen is going to be working on the Eagle, so the Rage will come down to move her through. Uh, and once the Eagle goes down, she's going to aggro the Queen. All the Hogs would come in with the uh, Warden falling behind. Support. Uh, fly all the way back down to the Town Hall. The two Balloons are going to be dropped on that Tesla right there. Heal's going to come down on the group of Hogs, pathing through. Wizards will start sprinkling in. Skelly pops up, so Poison's going to come down. Warden Ability has the Poison, is working on those Skellies. And at this point, just look at all the hogs that are pathing through the base. Uh, absolutely just steamrolled this guy and in no time at all. Though remember, there was no enemy CC, but if there was, uh, let's say an E-Drag would have probably been taken out within, I don't know, 10 seconds. A Hound, maybe 20 to 30, but in regardless, absolutely murked this guy. Keep in mind, this is a very new Town Hall 11, and I have the new hog level, so of course it'll be overkill, but even so, if you have the proper spell placements and execution with this attack, then it's gonna be overkill regardless. Uh, so there you have it, Queen Walk Hogs. Another tried and true must learn strategy for Town Hall 9 and even more so now because it'll set you up for miners and hybrid at Town Hall 10 and up. If there's a guide you want to see in depth, drop the suggestion in the request channel in the Discord and I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, take it easy.